Let us now take the fourth model from this topic of number systems which is based on the various fundamental formulae from algebra. When it comes to bank exams, we don't have algebra as a separate topic but then the basic formulae will be required in solving some questions from number systems. So first of all, let us understand the basic fundamental formulae from algebra. The first one here is a plus b whole squared. a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Next is a minus b whole squared. That should be taken as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. That means when a plus b whole squared or a minus b whole squared is expanded, we get the forms as shown on the left hand, right hand side. That means when a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square is expanded, the product obtained will be as shown on the right hand side. Next comes a plus b whole cube. a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. Or this can be taken as a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. Likewise, a minus b whole cube is a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cube. And again, it can also be taken as a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. The fifth one here is one very important concept that is a plus b into a minus b should always be taken as a squared minus b squared. Why? Because when we multiply these two, what we get is a squared minus b squared. The next one here is a cube plus b cube. a cube plus b cube can be taken in the form of a plus b into a squared minus ab plus b squared. And a cube minus b cube can be taken as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. And the last one here is a plus b plus c whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Generally these formulae can be applied while solving questions from simplifications and they can also be used in certain questions from the topic of number systems. Let us now take an example from model 4 where we are going to solve a question based on the various formulae that we have just discussed. The question here is the difference between two numbers is 4 and the difference between their squares is 128. What is the larger number? So as given here there are two numbers. The difference between the two numbers is 4 and the difference between their squares is 128. We are supposed to find out the larger number. Let us assume that the two numbers are L and S. L means the larger number and S means the smaller number. So as given in the question, the difference between the two numbers is 4. So we can say that L minus S is equal to 4. But because larger minus smaller will be equal to 4. Otherwise, if we take S minus L, it becomes minus 4. So that is why we should take it as L minus S. The second point here is the difference between their squares is 128. That means L squared minus s squared should be equal to 128 that is the difference between their squares. Now from the discussion of the various formulae we know that this is in the form of a squared minus b squared and a squared minus b squared is nothing but a plus b into a minus b. So this can be expanded as l plus s into l minus s equals to 128. And from the first point here, we know that L minus S is equal to 4. So by substituting that in this second equation, we get L plus S into 4 equals to 128. And if we try to simplify this, 4 gets cancelled here 32 times. So we can understand that L plus S is equal to 32. And from the first statement, we know that L minus S is equal to 4. So by solving these two equations, we can find out the larger number. Let us add both the equations. L plus L is 2L plus S and minus S gets cancelled and 4 plus 32 is 36. So 2L is 36. That means L is equal to 18. So very clearly the larger number here is 18 which is given in option number 4. So this is how you can use the formula that we have discussed in solving certain questions from number systems. But friends to solve this question we can even go by options instead of writing all these steps. What we need to do here is just check from the options whether the two conditions are satisfied or not. Whichever option satisfies both the conditions that can be taken as a correct answer. So let us understand how can we solve this question by eliminating the wrong options. Now as you can see here the question says what is the larger number. If we take option number 1 to be correct that means larger number is 14. If larger number is 14 it is very clear that smaller number has to be 10. 
Why? Because the difference between these two is 4. So if larger is 14, smaller will be 10. We know that 14 square is 196 and 10 square is 100. 196 minus 100 is 96. But the question says difference between their squares is 128. That means this option does not satisfy the given condition. So it can be ruled out. Option number 1 cannot be the answer. Similarly, if you look at option number 2, 16, it means the larger number is 16. If larger is 16, smaller has to be 12. Why? Because difference between the two numbers is 4. Now, let us find out the difference between their squares. 16 squared is 256 and 12 squared is 144. The difference between these two numbers here is 112. But we are looking for a difference of 128. So very clearly, even second option gets cancelled. Moving on to third option, if the larger is 12, smaller has to be 8. 12 squared is 144 and 8 squared is 64. 144 minus 64 will be equal to 80. But the question says the difference should be 128. So even the third option gets cancelled. Now the left out option here is option 4, 18. If 18 is a larger number, smaller number has to be 14. 18 square we know is equal to 324 and 14 square is 196 and 324 minus 196 is equal to 128. 324 minus 196 is 128. That means very clearly the difference of their squares is equal to 128 which is as given in the question here. So since this option satisfies the given condition, we can take it to be the correct answer. So either you can go by this step by step procedure or simply check which of the given options are correct by following the given conditions. Let us now take the second example based on the various formulae from algebra that we have learned. Now this is like a simplification question which is 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 plus 1.2 into 1.2 into 1.2 divided by 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 into 1.2 plus 1.2 into 1.2. So we need to simplify this and find out what is the answer. Now friends, if you look at this question, it really appears to be a complicated one. But then if you understand the formula which is to be applied here, the answer can be obtained in a few seconds. Now let us first of all simplify this in a proper form. For example, 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 can be taken as 0 0.8 whole q plus 1.2 into 1.2 into 1.2 is 1.2 cube divided by 0.8 into 0.8 is 0.8 squared minus this is 0.8 into 1.2 as it is plus 1.2 into 1.2 is 1.2 squared. So this is equal to what is the question? We know that a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared and this can be taken as a cube plus b cube divided by a square minus a b plus b square should be equal to a plus b. That means simply the second part here is taken in the denominator on the left hand side. Now if you try to compare the given question with this equation we find that it is exactly in the form of a cube plus b cube divided by a square minus a b plus b square and the answer has to be a plus b. So in the given question a is equal to 0 0.8 and b is equal to 1.2. So 0 0.8 plus 1.2 is equal to 2.0. So the answer for this question is 2. So this is how you can solve such questions by applying the proper formula among the various formulae that we have discussed. Remember friends if you don't get this idea of solving the question then it is better that you leave this question and go to the next one. Why? Because if you go for the regular solution of this problem, it is going to take a really very long time. And in that time, you can solve three or four other simple questions. So better you leave this if you don't get this idea. And if you are smart enough, you can understand which formula is to be applied and get the required answer in just four to five seconds.